Welcome back to the channel and today I'm here at Goodwill and we're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. We're in Spring Hill, Florida, which is a completely new area to check out for this Goodwill. And me, I've never been here before. It is a nice 90 degree day, just about, but luckily there's a little bit of wind happening and that's always helpful. And we're gonna head on inside. Oh, please keep floor, oh, it's an umbrella bag. How considerate. I never in my life have thought of that. A bag for your umbrella to keep the wetness from, well, making more things wet. We'll get ourselves a little cart. Uh, actually, I want a basket. I decided it's a basket kind of a day. 50% off orange items. Okay, that sounds very great. We're gonna head right back over to the hard goods area because that's where I buy things from. I don't really get any clothing. I'm not a clothing reseller. I tried it at one point, but I just, I never could really get that excited about it. Wow, they've got the Hummels. And then the Thousand Faces motif pattern here. It is, well, I don't know how much. It, oh, $100 for the teacups and the saucers and the sugar, the creamer. It's cool. Now this is the Hazel Atlas crisscross pattern down here with the cobalt lid and the clear base, but that's clearly a marriage because it should either be all cobalt or all clear. But that's fun if you want to do something a little bit more exciting. Mix it up. They also have some stretch glass in the blue iridescent glass there. It's a console bowl. It's nice. Oftentimes those came with candlesticks. Go straight to the figurines and little collectibles that is fun this is kitschy it's very anthropomorphic and it has the little onions on it and it has vinegar and olive oil although i think it needed like stoppers or something in it it's three bucks that's not too bad it has a little bit of chipping right there on the top of that spout so i won't do that one let's see what else we can find here are these like little guys these salt and peppers these are newer made in china probably two bucks on the salt and peppers got this girl here with wings Let's see the word love a baby with wings another baby with wings all the wings hmm. lots of just like i don't know a lot of these figurines are not really what I'm looking for because it's on the more or less discount side of things from you know eh, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Northern Lights, 1989. Hmm. Another girl with wings and a ukulele. She must be singing us a song. Sing us a song. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, it's like a fox, like a tiny fox. $1.18. Huh. All right. I was hoping to find something. Some good, some good wills. I tell you, they're hit or miss. Oh my gosh, what is with... All oh, no, that one doesn't have wings. They have a ton of mugs. So I'll check these over, looking for some interesting ones. But it's very difficult finding mugs that are good quality, that are re resellable at a thrift store especially. So many of them are like little tourist things or literally you get them for Christmas time with like stuff in them. So uh, it's very, very rare that I would ever get one for resale, but it does happen. For sure. Okay, there's a stein up there. They're still not that great of sellers. This is kind of a fun pattern with the little fruits on there. It's uh, three dollars. I like this one too with all of the ornamentation on it, the transferware. This one would be blue transferware, and then they went in afterwards with the yellow and this sort of pink color and green, and they sort of colored within the lines well, as best as they could. So you'll see 
kind of like the splashes of color on there to help give it some more some more color but this is plantation colonial hmm dollar 18 for that little this now this would have a cup with it because it has the indentation in the center but there's other pieces of it down here and then yeah some other ones oh i like this pink though that's great this has a nice swirl twist a little twist in there johnson bros it's a little bit later for johnson bros ikea okay oh my they glued okay they glued jadeite plates together with a one of these cups oh it's pioneer woman oh that's okay that's all right as long as it's the pioneer woman art here it's all like stacked up and it's this larger oh that's cool actually it's like this oh wow it's ink for eight dollars that's pretty cool from looks like to be about from 2008 of a ship that's nice i like to buy the smaller artwork though because of its simplicity and shipping let's go this way where all that is more so you could get um you could get nice art or you could just get them for the frames a lot of these are on the newer side for the frames, except this one. As soon as I said that, I changed my mind. This is $4, and the frame itself is very cool. This is an old frame, an old wood frame. I'm going to buy it for really the frame, not so much what, what even is going on here, because you could put your own thing in here. But this is very Art Deco, 1930s. So for $4, I'm going to definitely get this frame. I like that one. So look at this. Our luck is turning around. Marilyn Monroe. Let's see. A lot, but a lot of these are newer for sure. For sure. I like the tinsel art, the foil. I always have liked that. There's another one there. All right. Yeah. I like picking up the older frames. These are a little bit on the larger side for me. So I don't even want to really deal with those so much. And then I'll check out these. That looks old, but it's definitely not. This is the whenever they kind of brought this stuff back in the 80s and 90s, but it definitely has that art deco look to it with the frame, the reverse painted look to it. But it's this new, this new stuff. So, no, a dollar eighteen for that one. Just looking back down here, I found this nice little. Uh, candle holder has roses on it and it's the ceramic two bucks so you'd normally call this a litho pane whenever it sort of has this translucent quality to it and whenever you have the light shining through it is kind of lovely it, it has more depth in there depending on how deep some of these cuts are gives it this sort of dimensionality to the, the ceramic itself and it's a beautiful, uh, it's beautiful, it's bisque as well. So yeah, they call those lithopanes generally. But I will get this for $2. I don't usually get to see them out in the wild, so I'm happy to get it. Uh, they also have what looks like Linux maybe here. Just a single candlestick holder. This is actually a knockoff piece of Linux, Crown Classics. So knockoff Linux, a woman and her dog. Interesting. Six Flags souvenir. Walla. Yeah, so but so far I found the picture frame and the lift, the, the little candlestick, the, the thing I just showed you, the candle holder. So that's pretty cool. Lots of wax there. Lots of waxes. Back of the mugs. Now I'm not going to buy this, but this is known as Vitreous China. It's restaurant wear. Very durable. It's heavy and durable stuff. And they would use this at restaurants because of its durability. And just that, for that reason alone, it's just really good stuff, but it's heavy usually. So this one is marked USA on the bottom of it. Nice flourished handle there, $1.18. is a really good price for that, considering. Morning Glories. Here's a nice pottery mug. This is redware and two bucks, but it's missing a big chunk right there. It's also a 
Camp of the Woods souvenir. No thanks. Like this one. This one's hand painted. And that's really pretty with all the pink flowers on it. Two dollars. So I'll try it. I whoops. I might as well stick it in my basket and try it. It's only two bucks. And I can see what, what kind of things like this go for. And and see if it's worth me dealing with the little painted plates. Another transferware with the green. Pastoral. Homer Laughlin. Yeah, he's a really popular pottery company, Homer Laughlin, HCL or HL HLC rather. And you might know his name from Fiesta Ware. The Fiesta Ware, the Riviera pattern. Okay, two of those. Here's another saucer missing the cup. That's pretty. Okay. I think we're I think we're good on the plate front. We just got the one. Metal aisle. So I'm looking for things that are good. There's lots of like dish strainers, dish holders, and candle holders, napkin rings, bookends. So I'm looking for like a little holder there. I'm looking for whatever that is. Looking for interesting things. But usually I can't find much in the metal stuff. Oh, here we have a holder for a corningware. That's really cool. It's two bucks. This actually might be worth picking up. So I'm gonna look that up because that is neat if you have the corningware. And then really, actually the one below it down here, similar, it's just a different size. So I'll check those, check those out. And, uh, and I'll, I'll let you know actually, we're sad. They're like five to seven dollars or so, these little metal things. I'm surprised by that to be honest with you. But I guess there's just so many of them out there that supply and demand makes it that way. So there's banana holders, napkin holders, tumblers, metal ones, hooks. All right. Huh. This is kind of in the style of like a Turkish thing, but it might just be made in India. What is going on? It feels like it's missing something, right? Is this a Turkish coffee pot missing the handle? It's three dollars. I feel like it's missing like a wood handle here. Right? I don't know. It's clearly ornamentational. It's not like meant to be used either. So silver plate stuff's kind of nice sometimes. It's five bucks. The silver plate uh, covered dish, covered bowl. I like that. I'm not gonna buy it for resale but it's nice regardless. Okay. Paper towel holders, wine things. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get much here at all in the, in the metals. So sad. Little creamer. Made in China. Made in China. A few things trying out the, the plate for the first time. So that'll be interesting. And let's go check out another place. Right, now we're gonna check out this place right here. It's called Thrift Store. So let's see what they've got here. It's just right down the road from the last Goodwill that we went to. And hopefully we can find something. It might be relatively quick to get through here because the shelves are a little bit empty. Okay. Yeah, I don't see much of anything right there. And then that is like office supplies and things. There's plasticware there. We'll go this way. There's a little swan. This is, hmm. One shaker. Hmm. Not seeing anything yet. <laughs> Lots of mugs over here now. A lot of mugs. Just like Goodwill. This place might have stuff occasionally that could be good. But maybe not today. Hmm. Little mugs. Tis the season. No, it's not. It's 99 cents. 
little pattern glass piece for three dollars I don't know you know what I don't think we're gonna find much here actually they have an over-the-shoulder brooch here of the leopard for five dollars I'm gonna get that I don't know if any other jewelry here looks great nine two five really oh little bunny five dollars for the little bunny there's some chains and things there's some cute little brooches here I think I'll just get the one though the one over the shoulder type brooch and that'll be a good thing to do yeah okay all right that was pretty cool I got my little over the shoulder brooch that was great so anyways I'll wrap up this video here thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye-bye.